We traveled from snowy Columbus, Ohio, to sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida, to visit the Emerald Lagasse Innovation Kitchen, where Ark Broward has been growing a unique program with a creative and delicious way to teach people with disabilities culinary skills for employment. Hello, everyone. My name is Chef Nyala Cooper Scrubs. Welcome to the Ark Culinary Demo Kitchen. Today, we're going to prepare bacon pimento deviled eggs with yummy, delicious asparagus. Hi, my name is Danny Orris. I'm a student here at the Art Culinary Program. I'm Katherine Johnson. I'm with DSP at Art Broward. And my name is Joshua Peterson. I am OEDSP up in Ohio, and I'm going to help out today, too. Awesome. So to start, let's go over our ingredients. So we have some eggs, delicious pimento cheese that we made homemade. Then we have some cooked bacon, which you'll need to top the deviled eggs with. We also have some garlic powder, some salt, some pepper, and of course the traditional paprika that you always see on those deviled eggs. Then you have your mustard, your roasted garlic, which is just going to make the deviled eggs pop, parsley, as well as some yogurt and mayonnaise. We also are going to make some yummy asparagus. We're going to reserve some of that bacon fat that we used earlier from the bacon, and we're going to saute the asparagus in it, and that's going to be a nice garnish for our deviled eggs. So to start, cook your eggs first. So the trick is you want to make sure that you start them with cold water and let them come up to temperature, boiling them for one minute on high heat, letting them sit in the hot water for 15 minutes. That'll give you the perfect deviled egg. Hello, my name is Chef Nyala Cooper Scruggs and I am the chef instructor at Ark Broward. My background lies in farm to table cuisine. I've worked as a line cook chef as well as a teacher on a farm teaching students how to prepare farm to table meals. I've been with Ark Broward since August and I fell in love. I knew it was the position for me. I was like, this is exactly what I want to do. I want to work with students and teach them. And you know, one of the things I've learned as a teacher is that you're still learning. And that's what I love about being a teacher. You're still learning and you're the student as well. I think for me, I've learned a lot about how I teach. Um, as a chef, I've learned that there are different accommodations I can do for students with disabilities, as well as just have fun. I love having fun in the classroom and really encouraging the students to strive for their dreams and strive for their goals. And, you know, really showcasing the students' skills because I believe that they are very talented. So that's one of my things that I'm really passionate about with the students. This particular dish was so important to me because I grew up in the South. You know, um, when I was working with my papa or, you know, talking with my aunt who also used to own a restaurant, they loved working in the kitchen. So being in the kitchen is just kind of like in my blood. So I love it. <laughs> so let's bring you over here. We're going to start with these double eggs. All right, we're going to chop our bacon. And all that fat is going to add flavor to the deviled eggs as well. So we have about five pieces of bacon here. Just going to put that in our food processor. So you could do this in the blender. You could also chop it by hand as well if you like. And you want it to be about this consistency where it's nice and chopped. And we're just going to add that to our pan. Just be careful of the blade here. It's going to be nice and delicious on top of those deviled eggs. Now, we're going to separate our egg white and yolk. You have your yolk here, and you're going to put it in. All your yolks from the eggs, you're going to put in the bowl here. Now, we're going to add some of our ingredients. So, we're going to first add the mustard, Dijon mustard. That's going to give the deviled eggs a nice tang. Then we're going to add some mayonnaise. And that's just going to add a creamy, velvety texture to those eggs. Then, of course, the secret ingredient, our roasted garlic. That's what's going to make it have that pop of flavor where you're wondering, oh my gosh, what's in that? How is that different? So how you make roasted garlic at home, you get a bowl of garlic, cut off the top, Pop it in the oven with some foil and oil wrapped around it for about 45 to 60 minutes until it gets that nice 
nice brown color. You can also roast garlic on the stove top. You want to just make sure if you do it, you want to do it low and slow so the garlic doesn't burn, okay? And that'll usually take about the same amount of time. Now I'm just going to add my uh, yogurt. A little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of that, of course, traditional paprika that's always in deviled eggs. What I love about paprika, it has a nice, smoky, subtle flavor where you're kind of wondering, what's that smokiness from? Is it from the bacon or is it from the paprika? So let's go ahead and mix these all together and get them nice, velvety, and smooth. So you can mash them by hand and use a uh, handy dandy potato masher. And that'll work really well for making these deviled eggs as well. And you want it to be about a thick custard consistency. So now we're just going to add a little bit of our pimento cheese. About a fourth a cup. I like to use more like a half a cup because I love cheese. Pimento cheese is a mixture of cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and pimento peppers. And what's really great about those pimento peppers is they're nice and roasted. So they're going to have a nice roasty flavor and they also have a little bit of spiciness to them. So this cheese reminds me of home. It reminds me of cooking with my mom and my papa. It reminds me of southern cooking. So I, when I think of pimento cheese, I think of home. It's so easy to make. And it's just three or four ingredients and it comes out delicious every time. You can make sandwiches with it. I've heard of pimento mac and cheese. I've heard of pimento deviled eggs. So there's tons of things you can make with it. And now we're just going to mix that up with the rest of the egg mixture. It becomes this nice, like, orangey red color. It's very beautiful. And it'll look amazing on our deviled eggs. So now, a trick I love to do to make my deviled eggs even more pretty is I get a handy-dandy piping bag, and you'll use this, and you'll put the egg mixture in here, and then you'll have a nice piping tip on the bottom. I'm using a star tip, and that's what's going to make our design very beautiful on top of the eggs. Okay, so what I do is I fold it over, and then I put my hand in it, and I make like a cup. So then I'm going to scoop this out with a spatula, and my hand is going to guide me. And I use the back of my hand and the back of the spatula to push it in. So once you're done filling the bag, you don't want to fill it too high. You want to push out the air. Push it down and then push a little bit in your bowl. until you hear all that air get out. Okay, Danny, you want to start with the asparagus? Okay. So we also are going to make some yummy um, asparagus. We're going to reserve some of that bacon fat that we used earlier from the bacon, and we're going to saute the asparagus in it, and that's going to be a nice garnish for our deviled eggs. So Danny's starting the pan now. He's scraping out some of that bacon fat. If you wanted to make this vegetarian, you would just saute the asparagus in butter or oil. So, Danny, how long have you been with this program? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, we started in November. Three or four months. So, Danny is on his 10th week, and he finishes in about six more weeks. We're so proud of the work that he's done so far. His knife skills and all the skills he's been working towards have been stellar. Danny, before you started the program, did you know much about the kitchen and walking your way around the kitchen? Uh, now you feel like you can just handle everything? No, I wouldn't say that. I oh, there's so much more fun. But yeah. you, can def you definitely learn it quite a bit, I can see. Ah, uh, yes, I do enjoy it. What is your favorite part about the program? Uh, being in the kitchen, hands on, learning. What is like the favorite dish you made as part of the program? Um, we, we do a lot of prep work, uh, everything prep. I, I enjoy uh, just the mundane tasks, um, just chopping a vegetable, keeps my mind occupied, um, 
It's almost like meditative, just slicing it up. So we're also going to season it with a little salt, pepper, and garlic powder as well. So we're using fresh asparagus. It's local asparagus. So delicious. Going to add a nice bite to the bacon deviled egg. You can use canned. You can also use pickle. Pickle would be really nice on top of these deviled eggs. It would add a nice bite to them as well. So you can do a lot of different things with this. It doesn't have to be the same recipe. All right, so now that we have our asparagus cooking, we're going to grab our deviled eggs. And you want to make sure to cut off the top and the bottoms, and you'll see why very soon. So we're going to grab our piping bag. Make sure you squeeze it nice and tight so there's no air in it. You're going to grab your hand around it like a high five. And then you're going to place your fingers around the bag. And you're just going to pipe inside with the egg. It's going to end up with that nice star tip on the top. And you want to just tighten the bag as much as you can so that it come out, comes out evenly. Awesome. And then we're going to add some parsley to garnish. So would you like to add some parsley to garnish, please? Mm -hmm. And that green color is just going to make those eggs pop, right? It's going to be nice and beautiful. Yes, that looks perfect. And don't forget about the smoked paprika. That's the fun part. So we're just going to make a beautiful masterpiece with this paprika and just go all over the plate. Because when I think of deviled eggs, I think of that smoked paprika. Make sure you get every single egg. Plays off the green very nicely. Yes, definitely. And don't forget your asparagus. So we're going to grab our asparagus. So Danny, can you bring that asparagus over, please? And since I have gloves on, I can use my hands. I'm just going to grab asparagus and place it in like that. If you are a vegetarian, you do not have to use the bacon. You can actually just go without the bacon, and this can be a vegetarian dish as well. If you wanted to make this vegetarian, you would just saute the asparagus in butter or oil. Let's give it butter. Yes. Right? Yeah, butter is always better. That's what I say. The more, the merrier, right? And now we're going to finish some of them with bacon. And you just want to drop it around the plate like so. Make sure every egg gets a little bit of bacon on them. Or the ones that are not vegetarian. And voila, there you have it, your bacon pimento cheese deviled eggs. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much.